Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of How Catholic Are You? Very pleased to be joined by you guys today or whenever it is that you're watching this video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about Catholic presidential candidates. Uh, last week we talked about honorary United States citizenship, something that only eight people have ever gained in the, Uni uh, in the United States history, one of which was St. Teresa of Calcutta or Mother Teresa. Go Mother Teresa. I thought we'd talk a little bit about Catholic presidential candidates, specifically the first one, but we'll go through them each in order. Uh, the first was Al Smith. He was the Democratic nominee in 1928. There was, of course, John F. Kennedy, who won the presidency in 1964, and Joe Biden, the latest, to, uh, the latest Catholic to gain the nomination of a major American political party for the office of the presidency. I want to talk a little bit about Al Smith um, way back in 1928, because he's a very... Uh, he's not as well known as he should be, and specifically, I uh, want to talk a little bit about how far the country has come in terms of religious freedom and respect for different religions. Uh, Catholicism was very, very unpopular in the United States in the early 20th century. Um, still, one could argue that it's a relatively unpopular uh, position to take now. The Catholic Church obviously holds many positions which are countercultural uh, and go against kind of the secular um, you know, worldview and morality system of society. But Al Smith, he was the governor of New York, and he won the Democratic nomination for president of the United States in 1928. Now, he got clobbered in the election, which is probably why you don't hear from him very much. Only won about 70 electoral votes, uh, lost to Herbert Hoover, who then went on to shepherd the country into the Great Depression. But we'll, you know, we'll leave that one there. Uh, <laughs> Yes, Al Smith, governor of New York, lost the presidency in 1928, in large part due to his Catholicism. Uh, there was a large fear amongst various different religious denominations in the country that Al Smith would be answerable not to the United States Constitution if he won the presidency, but rather to the Pope, that he would simply become a puppet of the Pope and that the United States would become a kind of shadowy hand of the Vatican. This was a real mainstream belief in 1928, so not even a hundred years ago. Um, and, and that is one of the main reasons that Al Smith ended up losing the presidential nomination, or excuse me, the presidential election. Now, there's obviously a lot of other different factors, policy that we're not going to get into because A, I don't know, and B, it would take a long time to research and describe. But important to remember that we had a, a, a major political party candidate for president of the United States way back in the 20s who was Catholic and was openly discriminated against because of his Catholicism. So while we may have a difficult time uh, you know, with our Catholicism in the world today, we know it's not popular and we know that people are going to come at us for it. Um, always good to remember how far we've come and, and the true gift that we have been given uh, in this country of expressing religious freedom and of practicing our religion, uh, the true faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. So that's our Catholic fun fact of the day, talking about Al Smith. We hope you guys will join us uh, this Friday morning for our blog post edition of How Catholic Are You? And we look forward to seeing you guys there. For myself and everyone else who helps out with this series, we'll see you next time.